Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi. Ciao ciao. <laughs> well, today we are going to talk about things you should know before visiting Florence. Okay, so if you have planned to come to Florence, you have to know first uh, the airport is not too close to. No, but the airport of Florence is very little. Yeah, so then you. there is not so much flight. Yes, so I think the. The ninety percent go to Pisa. It's yeah. One hour and something. Yes. There. So if you are like, uh, if you arrive there, you have you you have to take a bus or a train. Yeah. Like a train or bus is same price, but if you take a bus, we we'll take you straight to Florence. But if you take a train, then you stop somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So and. Uh, about so, about areas to stay there are so many nice areas to stay in florence you can't stress so much about it yeah, because, uh, yeah. the downtown is not big yeah then uh, it's better stay downtown near the big the three four big square yeah and then you walk yes yeah. so you don't have even and that it comes to transportation example taxes you don't have to to no. take a taxi or anything but stay in the the main square there yeah. is three four uh, and wh what are the names piazza signoria eh. piazza, piazza della repubblica mm. uh, ponte vecchio piazza indipendenza or oh, near the station yeah so there is all closed eh. and one thing i want to advise you if you want to go to the museum you have to take a ticket before See? yes because if you take the ticket uh, i mean if you are going there the same day to take ticket there will be a little bit longer because there are a lot of tourists See? you se you spend your time in or you book before yes you should book a ticket uh, before for museum See? and uh, another thing is that uh, when you go to the restaurant guys uh, especially dinner in italy dinner starts late so you can't go to dinner i mean at six no they there is always open yes but uh, and uh, there is so much fast food uh, yeah know. and generally the price for complete dinner mm. is complete is 20. yes okay there is the menu for tourists is 15 20 there is all inclusive not the wine the yes. water ah. And always like they have so many... And there is a many price, you should stay in the area uh, in the area like uh, Via Proconsolo mm. There is so much restaurant, medium price mm. Then you can find the, the main course, the second and the fruit All inclusive the, yes. There is a, the menu, all inclusive uh, 15, 14 Oh, you, pay, you, you take the bargain or the cut of pizza is more cheaper. Yes. Five euro you eat six. Yeah. And when you come to Italy, don't act, I mean you, you have to try to eat uh, special food from uh, Florence. Example, don't uh, don't think only pizza and, and the pasta. No, in pasta, no yeah. burger. <laughs> pizza and pasta is all Italian. Uh, no, there is so much. Yes, there are a lot of Italian food which are so good, guys. What a, what is a special Florence uh, food? Fiorentina stick. Uh, yeah, there is the market uh, mm. where we went. Uh, yes. The, where there is uh, the market of San Lorenzo near the station. Yes, you'll find there inside. There are a uh, lot of restaurants all, inside. Uh, typical. There is so much. Uh, all the typical food uh, inside of Toscana, the market. There is so much. Yes. So we advise you when you come to Florence, go to that market. What it called the market? Uh, Mercato San Lorenzo. Mercato? San Lorenzo. Yes. <laughs> this is so short video, guys. We just wanted to like. Uh... No, even to sleep, you should take care where you sleep. Ah, ecco. Because uh, me... you can you can book hotel. Mm. So cheap, or book hotel, so expensive, and they are so near. Ah. Eh. Ah. So you should uh, check before. Check. Uh, eh. For example, uh, uh, ne near the station, you can find a little bit cheap hotel, eh. or a little bit of uh, three, four hundred square meter from the down the downtown. Which cheap. is not so far. Eh. Like it's just uh, like ten minutes or five minutes walking. Eh. If you if you book. Uh, in the hotel, 
in the square square you find the more expensive yeah, and you pay for nothing because uh, you can near. find a good hotel even like near station which uh, you don't have to pay so much money and you just have to walk five minutes uh, yeah especially near the uh, uh, the Lungan where there is the embassy of America uh. there is a little hotel you can find cheap uh, and it's all near there you walk uh, yes when you come to Italy, you should know a few phrases so that you can help at least because if you don't know anything, can be a little bit... You know, when you come to somewhere like Italy, everyone here speaks Italian. Uh, so you should know at least even three phrases like thank you, grazie, please, per favore. Or if you want to ask someone if they speak English, per favore, parli inglese. So easy. So, why are you laughing? Very <laughs> Teaching me. <laughs> Buongiorno, buonasera. Buongiorno, bravo. Mi Buongiorno, scusi. good morning. Mi uh, scusi, excuse me. Sì. Yes. So, those are few. <laughs> so, so where is it? Dove, dove? Eh, where is it? Dove? Dove si Piazza Signoria? Eh, dove eh. Piazza Signoria? Where is Piazza Signoria? It's so easy. So, yeah. But uh, the, the, the good things in Florence, mm. when you ask uh, in English... Uh, yes, you, yes, not everyone, but you no, find some shop. people. Yes, in the shop. So if you want to ask something, it's better you go inside the shops uh, to ask and bar. not people around. The only thing is difficult to find in Florence. Uh. It's better sometimes put the pampers because there is not so much toilet. <laughs> that... Uh, <laughs> Try to remember. Take your pampas. Because <laughs> uh, there is no green inside the town. Uh, zero. Yes. Zero guard, zero. Mm -hmm. Then if you feel a little bit too pee or too... It's a problem. <laughs> then... You have to go to the, to the bar uh, and uh, buy coffee by force so that you can go to the toilet. Or the bar always open with toilet broken. Yeah. Or dirty toilets. Bravo. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we forgot, we forgot to mention uh, something more important, which is a, what is the best moment to visit uh, Florence? Well, the high season. Mm. The high, high season is primavera. Pri primavera, spring. But there is so much. Spring. Uh, 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 there is so much school. Uh, uh, and, uh, it will be more difficult to go around. Yes, yeah, so many people around. Uh, and in so summer. Much. There is all the school until, uh, uh, until June. But if. Uh, and even summer is too hot. See. see, so we don't advise you to come in Florence in summer because it's too hot here, like 40 degrees or 39. Too hot to go around. So the best moment to visit is October, October okay. November. Eh. But this time, so around November, too much rain during the first days, like now, it's too much rain. Okay. So the best moment is the first of October. September in uh, September yes <laughs> okay guys so that's it for today we hope you enjoyed this we hope you enjoyed this <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this you <laughs> why I talk like this we hope <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you like it please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the next video bye 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 Ciao, un bacione, so, okay. <laughs> what do you think? Like when someone is coming to Italy? Yeah, I think it's a better morning. <laughs> Things you should know before visiting Italy. And this is not just about uh, like, uh, like, la I mean, okay, so let's not talk too much. Yes, <laughs> because I don't even know what I was going to know. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much guys, an easy way to subscribe to my channel, you can press this button here and you can watch other vlogs by pressing the pictures around here.